Well, good morning. The life and times of Henry Mark in Greece us this morning. Let's come before the Lord and bring this day to him, shall we? O Lord, open our lips, and thou, thou mouth shalt proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Bless the Lord, O my <clears throat> soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord. O oh, my soul, glory, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 132 Lord, do not forget David and all the hardships he endured. Remember, Lord, what he promised, the vow he made to you, the mighty God of Jacob, I will not go home or go to bed, I will not rest or sleep, until I provide a place for the Lord, a home for the mighty God of Jacob. In Bethlehem we heard about the covenant box and we found it in the fields of Turin. We said, let us go to the Lord's house, let us worship before his throne. Come to the temple, Lord, with the covenant box, the symbol of your power, and stay here forever. May your priests do always what is right. May your people shout for joy. You made a promise to your servant David. Do not reject your chosen king, Lord. You made a solemn promise to David, a promise you will not take back. I will make one of your sons king, and he will rule after you. If your sons are true to my covenant and to their commands I give them, their sons also will succeed you for all time as kings. The Lord has chosen Zion. He wants to make it his home. This is where I will live forever. This is where I want to rule. I will richly provide Zion with all she needs. I will satisfy her poor with food. I will bless her priests in all they do and her people will sing and shout for joy. Here I will make one of David's descendants a great king. Here I will preserve the rule of my chosen king. I will cover his enemies with shame, but his kingdom will prosper and flourish. Psalm 133, how wonderful it is, how pleasant for God's people to live together in harmony. It is like the precious anointing oil running down from Aaron's head and beard down to the collar of his robes. It is like the dew on Mount Hermon falling on the hills of Zion. That is where the Lord has promised his blessing, life that never ends. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now. now and, and shall be, be forever. forever. Amen. 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verses 1 
to 18. Josiah was eight years old when he became king of Judah, and he ruled in Jerusalem for 31 years. He did what was pleasing to the Lord. He followed the example of his ancestor King David, strictly obeying all the laws of God. In the eighth year that Josiah was king, while he was still very young, he began to worship the God of his ancestor King David. Four years later he began to destroy the pagan places of worship, the symbols of the goddess Asherah and all the other idols. Under his direction the altars where Baal was worshipped were smashed and the incense altars near them were torn down. They ground to dust the images of Asherah and all the other idols and then scattered the dust on the graves of the people who had sacrificed to them. He burned the bones of the pagan priests on the altars where they had worshipped. By doing all this, he made Judah and Jerusalem ritually clean again. He did the same thing in the cities and the devastated areas of Manasseh, Ephraim and Simeon and as far north as Naphtali. Through the territory of the northern kingdom he smashed the altars and the symbols of Asherah, ground the idols to dust and broke into bits all the incense altars. Then he returned to Jerusalem. In the eighteenth year of his reign, after he'd purified the land and the temple by ending pagan worship, King Josiah sent three men to repair the temple of the Lord God, Shaphan, son of Azaliah, Maser, the governor of Jerusalem, and Joah, son of Joaz, a high official. The money that the Levite guides had guards had collected in the temple was turned over to Hilkiah the high priest. It had been collected from the people of Ephraim and Manasseh and the rest of northern kingdom and from the people of Judah, Benjamin and Jerusalem. This money was then handed over to the three men in charge of the temple repairs and they gave it to the carpenters and the builders to buy the stones and the timber used to repair the buildings that the kings of Judah had allowed to decay. The men who did the work were thoroughly honest. They were supervised by four Levites, Jahath and Obadiah of the clan of Merari, and Zechariah and Meshalam of the clan of Kohar. The Levites were all skillful musicians. Other Levites were in charge of transporting materials and supervising the workers on various jobs and others kept records or served as guards. While the money was being taken out of the storeroom, Hilkiah found the book of the law of the Lord, the law that God had given to Moses. He said to Shaphan, I found the book of the law here in the temple. He gave Shaphan the book and Shaphan took it to the king. He reported, we have done everything that you commanded. We have taken the money that was kept in the temple and handed it over to the workers and their supervisors. He added, I have here a book that Hilkiah gave me, and he read it aloud to the king. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. God. Spirit of God. Teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob. That God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations, and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your, your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. 
John chapter 15 verses 12 to 17. My commandment is this, love one another just as I love you. The greatest love you can have for your friends is to give your life for them. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because servants do not know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. You did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you to go and bear much fruit, the kind of fruit that endures. And so the Father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. This, then, is what I command you. Love one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open, Open my, my eyes, O Lord, that, that I may see, see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that, that I may see, see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open, Open my eyes, eyes, O Lord, Lord that, that I may see, see the wonders of your law. Christ gave them as a light to the nations, that his salvation might reach to the ends of the earth. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall be forever. Ever. Amen. Christ gave them as a light to the nations, that his salvation might reach to the ends of the earth. Father, we come before you this morning with a new day before us, grey and a little grim. But Father, we thank you that we have a new day, that life continues in all of its glory, all of its splendour and all of its challenges. Father God, in the steps we take this day, in the journeying and in the things we plan to do, we ask that you would be in the midst of it that we would be aware of your presence. For those who can go wherever, we, they know the freedom. And for those contained within homes or hospitals or other places, may they know your presence even where they are. Father God, we lift to you our hearts this morning. We sing your praise. We lift our lives to you and say this day god be that in our life be god help us to show your love your healing your health and your eternal love life and presence to all 
Lord, in your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, praying for our world this morning, we pray for increased tensions between North Korea and its neighbours, especially Japan, as a submarine has fired a missile into the waters as a show of strength. Lord, this country that is so closed off, so secretive, so easily spooked, and so unstable. Lord, we pray for a stability of that part of the world, thinking as well of China, its tensions with Taiwan and Hong Kong. Lord, we pray for leaders who will hold back from conflict. Mm. But who will seek a more diplomatic route. With all the sabre rattling that goes on, Lord, we know that men are foolish, proud, arrogant. But you bring all of us before your throne. And we bow at your true power and majesty and splendour. So Lord, we pray that you would be present, that you would be known that you will be active in the Koreas, in Japan, in China, in Taiwan, in the whole of Southeast Asian province. Lord, that you would bring some stability and some sense of security and humility to those places. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, we look at all that is happening in this world of ours this day. And we pray for good government. Yes, we pray for right government. As we <clears throat> look at the nations of the world, as we look at those who have made the mark and now left this life as Colin Powell, who was the US Secretary for State, who was the senior most military officer at one stage, leaves this life. Father, we pray for the leaders, military, spiritual, political across the world. We pray for the people who are making a difference for good, that they would continue. We pray for those who are abusing their power, oppressing their people doing things which are wrong, that they would meet with you, that they would find your still small voice that changes lives, turns hearts away from wrong and serves others. Mm -hmm. Father God, we pray for the peace of this world and all that it is. And Father God, as we do, as we pray, 
for all that the world is. We pray for justice in the world, that it would be justice. That we would not be a world who seeks revenge and vengeance. That we would not act to fulfil our own designs and desires. But we would act always to bring mercy, peace and justice to all. Lord, heal our broken world, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as we pray for your church today, we reflect upon our readings today. The pattern that we see in the ancient kings of Israel, that those who called the people back to you, who worshipped you themselves first and foremost, mm, yes. and restored worship, removing the idols, the things that drew the people away from you and then restored the law, the rule of life that you gave us that keeps us holy. Lord, we pray for our own rulers, spiritual, political, that they too would worship you in spirit and in truth, that they would lead the people back to you, removing the idols, whatever they may be, the idols of money, of power, of mm -hmm. position, the things that distract from knowing you and serving you, and that we would return to a life of holiness, Not accepting those things that are wrong. But seeking your forgiveness. And making that effort to change what we do and how we live. And Lord, we also reflect on the words of Jesus. his command to us was to love one another, to be united, to not hold things against each other, but to be willing to lay down our lives for you, for him, to lay down the things that we run after, the things that we desire and seek for ourselves our ambitions and aspirations. And to give our lives completely to you mm -hmm. and to then spend them in serving each other. Lord, we pray that this would be the pattern of your church. that we would be a people who would be willing to lay aside our lives and spend them in service of each other and in worship of you. Mm -hmm. Knowing that if we do that, we have all we need. And all our desires will be met because our desires will then be in line with you. You will fill us with the desire for the things that are of you. So Lord, we pray for our leaders, especially in this time of change, this time of challenge. that there will be a willingness to lay aside the things that we hold on to. And to sacrifice them that we may be set free to worship you in all that we are and all that we do. And we may be seen as a people who are holy, 
who are loving, who are just and righteous, who stand with the oppressed and the marginalised and the poor, who lift up the downtrodden and speak your word and your healing and forgiveness to a world that is so broken, so damaged and so hurt. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We lift to you, Father, those we know who have needs. We pray for Betty Satherwaite, who yes, continues to reside in St Giles at this time. We pray for Paul, Mark and Carol as they watch and care for their mum. For Derek, companion and great support. Lord, we pray for the people we know who have needs. For Jane and for Graham and Lord, for Luke. We pray for Margaret and for Colin. We pray for Enid and those we know who struggle in health at this time, who age. Lord, we know so many people always who have needs, family members who have lost jobs, family members who are struggling with situations of health and finance and so many other things. So many people we know who grieve at this time. And Lord, we bring them and lay them before you in our prayers, asking you to be God, to hear our prayers and to answer as is right, as you always do. Father God, as we lift those we know and love and the people and the places to you, we pray for ourselves also that you would be God in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Uh -huh. Almighty God, who by your Holy Spirit gave Henry Martin a longing to tell the good news of Christ and skill to translate the scriptures, by the same Spirit, give us grace to offer you our gifts, wherever you may lead, at whatever cost. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Amen. With the words our Saviour gave us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now, now and forever. forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a great day and as you go, 
heartening news on the horizon that the government are going to give us £5,000 to get rid of our old boilers. Have a great day, guys. Bless you. £5,000 for you. Bye, Wendy. <laughs>